All right. So this is Kenny Santos out of Toronto, Canada for KennySantos.com. Do you want to feel worthy? And when I say feel worthy, I'm talking about, do you want to feel worthy of success? Do you want to feel, feel worthy of happiness, of fulfillment, of love, all the, all these things that make our lives feel better of wealth? You know, it's so important. And if you are lacking self-worth, then no matter how hard you work, you will not get the success you're looking for. You won't get the love you're looking for. You won't get the wealth and the health that you're looking for. So it's so important. I'm going to talk about that in this video. And perhaps you'll find that it's just the missing ingredient that you need. And, you know, because there's so many other ingredients to success that are important. And if you're missing just one ingredient, like, you know, if you're making a cake or if you're making a casserole, there's certain ingredients that are vital. And so when it comes to success and feeling good about yourself, there's a lot of ingredients here in vital too. you know, and ingredients that you've heard of before, you know, one, believing in yourself Two, having a why, you know, wanting it bad enough. Um, and then of course there's more, but I'm going to talk about today is having that self worth, because if you don't have that self worth, whatever goal you have, you will not achieve it. If you don't feel like you deserve it. If you don't feel like you're worthy of your goals and your dreams, you will never, ever get it. And the frustrating part is you don't even know why you're not getting it. You're going to be working your tail off and deep down, you're actually self-sabotaging your success. And the frustrating part is you may not even realize it. Maybe you're realizing now that, you know what, maybe Kenny's right. You know, I've been working on this project or I've been wanting this, this achievement for so many years and I've never been able to get it no matter how hard I work or no matter how hard I try not getting it. Maybe you just need that little bit of self-worth. I'm going to talk about that. Now, before I get to the content, what I invite you to do is this, is I invite you to like, subscribe, share, or comment. Um, it's a super easy way and it's a simple way for you to support my blog, my channel, my audios, and do so for free. So let's get into self worth, how to go from feeling unworthy or even worthless to feeling supremely worthy. Because if you can get this, um, actually, you'll find out in my first example, there's a quote by um, Lao Tzu. He says, if you realize that you have enough, you are truly rich. If you realize that you are enough, you are truly rich. And that brings us to the first one is that realize that your self-worth is not, or sorry, your worth is not outside of you. And that makes sense, right? Your worth is you. It's not what you achieve, right? It's not what you've done. Your worth is already within you. And it's important for you to feel that worth. Otherwise, you won't be able to achieve the things that you want to achieve. Whether it's more love, whether it's more love, um, sorry, more love, more money, whether it's a better job, you know, whatever it is, you know, you will not achieve that if you feel like you need to feel worthy first or sorry if you feel like you need to achieve that first to feel worthy you know a lot of people they say to themselves oh once i lose the weight then i'll feel worthy right once i write that book then i'll feel worthy once i make x amount of money then i'll feel worthy once i do x y and z then i'll feel worthy when it's totally putting the cart before the horse because if you don't feel worthy you're not going to play big you know if you want to write a book if you're not worthy, you may schedule time to write a book. You know, on the weekend, I'm going to put two hours in and write the book, but you're going to let life get in the way simply because you're self-sabotaging yourself without even knowing it. Life gets in the way and you get back and you think by the end of the day, oh, I'm supposed to work on my book today. Don't worry. I'll get to it next week. But deep down, the real reason why you didn't do it is because you didn't make time for it. And the reason why you didn't make time for it and, and the reason why you let life get in the way is because you just don't feel worthy. And so... If you don't feel worthy, you will self-sabotage your success and it will be frustrating, especially until you realize that you've been self-sabotaging yourself this whole time. So um, realize you will never find your worth, at, um, you know, outside of you. Um, you know, first of all, you got to look within, you know, that's where you'll find everything, everything that you want. You know, the fact that you have these desires proves that you are worthy and it's important that when you feel that worth, then you'll start doing the things you need to do. If you want to lose the weight, you have to feel like you're worth it. When you feel like you're worth it, you're going to start exercising. You're going to start believing yourself more. You're going to start working out. You're going to start dieting. You're going to start doing those things that you need to do to lose the weight. And the same goes for writing a book, getting a better job, um, you know, whatever the case may be, you know, building a business, whatever it is, whatever that, that goal is for you, realize you got to feel worthy first. And that worthiness is already there. It's inside you. Um, there's this quote 
by Mike Dooley that when I saw it, I fell in love with it. And it's it says this. It says, contrary to uh, popular belief, worthiness is not something you achieve. It's something you realize. I'll say that again. Contrary to popular belief, worthiness is not something you achieve. It's something you realize. And so that brings us to the second way of feeling worthy. And that is to do a have done list, right? If you're on the path of success, you may be already be doing to do lists. You know, in the morning you're saying, okay, today I'm going to, for example, today one of my things on the list was to make a video and I'm doing that right now. So I get to cross that off the list, right? You know, it could be to work out. It could be to do X, Y, and Z, but make your to do list in the morning, things that you just need to get done. You know, in or you know, especially things that'll that if you get done, it'll get you closer to your dream, right? And so today, you know, I'm, that's why I'm making my video. One, as I I love making videos, but two, it gets me closer to my dream, right? It gets me, you know, my name is out there. It helps me get branded. It gets me closer to my dream. And so, do something every day that gets you closer to your dream. And so, if you want to write a book, even if you just write one sentence that day, at least you've done something that gets you closer to your dream. And, you know, have that have done list at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I write down all my wins. And sometimes my wins are, you know what, I was able to do my walk today. You know, it's important for me to get my walk in, but sometimes I miss it. But I write that down. You know what, got my walk in. My walk, by the way, 17,000 steps a day, right? It's a lot for me, right? Another thing that I'm going to put on my to-do list or not my to-do list, my have done list is I did a video today and there's other things that I want to put down as well. And so there's a certain piece that comes to mind when you go to bed knowing that you did something today that got you a little bit closer to your dreams. Because if you do that, you know, that momentum builds and that, that, that turns from a good day to a good week. A good week can turn into a good month and a good month can turn into a good year. And you get a couple of those, you got a good life. And so you have that have done list. You get that you know, you get that list, you know, whether you're writing it manually with a pad of paper and a pen or whether it's just some list on the phone or, you know, uh, you know, digitally, whatever the case may be, there's some power in writing that down at the end of the day and feeling some self of accomplishment. Even if all you did was write one sentence of your book, it's better than procrastinating every single day. And then after a week, you haven't done anything. Imagine if after a week, all you did was write seven sentences, Right. I pr or one sentence a day, so it's seven sentences. I promise you that little momentum alone will carry on to all of a sudden writing five minutes a day. And all of a sudden, five minutes a day times seven days a week is 35 minutes a week. That's already half hour, more than you, what you would have done if you didn't do that list. And then you'll realize five minutes is a little easier. I'll do 10 minutes. And then all of a sudden, it's half hour. You do start doing half hour a day. You are on your way to writing your book or whatever the case may be, whether it's practicing the guitar or learning a new skill, whatever it is, you know, building your business, your side hustle, whatever it is, so much better to do at least one thing and put it on your have done list than to do nothing and procrastinate and then feel bad about it. So number two, take or sorry, number three, that was number two, right? Number two is have done, um, write your have done list. Number one is realize your worth is, is inside of you, not outside. Number three is take note of compliments. Whenever someone compliments you, accept that compliment. A lot of people, they're very humble and said, oh, well, not really. Oh, thank you. You know, you know, say thank you. And you could even say, you know what? I accept that. I appreciate you. Thanks for noticing. If someone says, hey, you've lost weight lately. Hey, thanks for noticing. You know, instead of saying, well, I've been working out. I've lost a little bit. It's mostly water weight. You know, don't downplay your compliments. You know, really accept them because you are worth it. And here's something that I do. All right. What I do is whenever I get a compliment, for example, um, one of my coaching clients, um, she actually um, gave me a copy of her book and she wrote this awesome message that gives me all these, I can't even put it there. She wrote this awesome message. You could, oh, can't really see it just because the way my uh, screen is, but she wrote this awesome message, you know, giving me a lot of kudos in her book and a thank you for being her mentor and a, and a cherished friend. And I took a picture of these compliments and sometimes they're just screenshots on Facebook or whatever the case may be. And I have an album on my phone called Deserve. And whenever someone says, oh, Kenny, you've been kind to me or Kenny, you did a good job doing X, Y, and Z or Kenny did this and that. I put that in, I look at my, I put that into an album called Deserve. And whenever I need that little pick me up, I look at it. And it is really, really empowering to remember when people complimented you. It's really, really empowering. And it really gives you that boost. And if you don't think that people compliment you, what I invite you to do is look out for them, be aware. And when you see those compliments, accept them and then take that time. You could be dorky like me, take that screenshot. It helps me. 
all right? It helps build my self-esteem. It helps build, boost me up when I'm feeling down, right? It helps me during those times when I'm not feeling worthy to feel worthy because when I feel worthy, I take that action. I take that action. I start achieving things and then I feel even more worthy. So and number three or number four is say thank you. Say thank you when someone does something for you. If someone brings you, even if someone just, you know, sends you a cup of coffee or, or even if someone compliments you or whatever the case may be, say thank you. Because when you acknowledge worthiness of in others, it is a great way to increase your own worthiness. One, it makes them feel good. Two, it also makes you feel good. And that you feeling good will help you feel more worthy. I remember there's a episode of Friends where Joey tells Phoebe that there's no such thing as a selfless deed because if you do a good deed, it makes you feel good. And it's kind of interesting, you know, because, you know, when you say, when you give someone a compliment or if you say thank you to someone and acknowledge their worth, it does make you feel good. And it's almost like a gift to the both of you. It's a gift to them because they get to feel good, but it's also a gift to you because you had that feeling of allowing them to feel good. You, you gave them that. And also, that also brings us back to number three, is that when you accept compliments, it helps them feel good. It helps, it, it helps them feel good for complimenting you. And so keep that in mind whenever you kind of reject a compliment. You know, um, realize that, you know, someone, sometimes when they say something, it takes a lot of guts for them. You know, some people roll off compliments like nothing, but some people are just kind of like, they're not used to that, you know? I had to work on that, giving people compliments. But now I always, you know, when, when someone says a kind thing or, or something like that, I said, you know what, you've been kind to me. I remember this one time you did X, Y, and Z. Or remember this time you did this or we did that. You know, it's so awesome when you do these things. And so those are four things that, simple things that you can do to assist you from, you know, feeling worthless to feeling worthy. I'm going to review them once again. Number one is Realize you'll never find your self-worth outside of you. Number two is make a have-done list at the end of the day, you know. And number three, take note of your compliments. And number four, always, always say thank you. So I trust you got some great value out of this. Again, what I invite you to do is like, subscribe, share, and comment. It is a super easy way, and it's a simple way for you to support my blog and to do so for free. And if you want to see more videos like this, go over to my blog. It's KennySantos.com. You put your name and email, and you're going to get an awesome audio and grow in your business. Now, remember this. Every day, multiple times a day, the universe sends us miracles, and we only got to do two things about that. We got to recognize those miracles. Yes. And then, of course, my favorite part, we get to accept those miracles. All right. Take care and create a great day.